Hello and welcome everyone to Start Your Engines, Start your engines. Sony Computer Entertainment America Production. CTR Crash Team Racing from 1999, a PS1 car racer that I stand for as the second best car racer game of all time. Of all time? Of all time. But first, Punchy Box. Madra. Into the cult selection of racers. Yes. Crash Team Racing. I have edited out a majority of the load types in this game. Thankfully, although it does make some pretty awkward jump cuts. Like so. Meanwhile, in Gex, enter the Gecko. No, this is still Crash. It's a new character. So, you pesky Earthlots like to win, eh? <laughs> Well, I, Nitrous Oxide, I'm the fastest racer in the galaxy. I travel as And I have two different sides eyeballs. Skills. It's a little game I call Survival of the Fastest. Here's well, the way he doesn't actually have different sized eyeballs, they're just open at different levels. I'm your world to race for the planet. If your driver wins, I'll leave your you miserable little rock alone. But if I win, I'll turn your entire globe into a concrete parking lot and make you my slaves. <laughs> and then he's going to open a target and sell. <laughs> race for the fate of your planet. But yeah, I love this game. I think that this is, I, as I've already said, I think this is the second best kart racing game of all. So is everybody up to speed now? You have to, you have to race in order to save the world from annihilation. Tiny, don't break your cart. Those are expensive. Tiny is not eligible. Polar, that book is upside down. You can't fault him for trying. <laughs> Dingo Dial, stop exploding your face. See, everybody's motivated to get in and race. Cortex, you're cheating. Stop that. <laughs> Crash, wake up. You're the hero. <laughs> Our races are incompetent morons. We're all going to die. <laughs> Why are we back at the start menu? <laughs> uh, uh, because I forgot that it actually does do the intro again. It, uh, if you if you go uh, directly to it. Oh. <laughs> so I decided to show off our roster of racers. There's Crash. Okay. Cortex, there's Cortex. Tiny. There's Tiny Tiger. There's Coco Bandicoot. Yes, in, the, in this game, there's you Ninja. only have three... You only have three attributes that vary depending on which racer you're going for. Basically, the racers are organized by um, easy, medium, and hard. The easy, the easy drivers um, go slower, but they're easier to control. The faster drivers go faster, but they're harder to control. That's technically true. The the main issue that I have with that is that uh, by stats, well. To be perfectly honest, yeah, and, and yeah. Coco are just flat out the best racers in the uh, game. Coco is looking I mean, pretty deserving of that name, Demon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, more tutorials. Or rather, just new tutorials. Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can you, travel Coco. around this area. And See, they made this game skills. basically right the after Crash 3. The map represent warp pads, yep. which lead to races. When they flash, oh yeah, here's another game that has to, like, to explain the non-declarative, like, controls and stuff for the player, the not necessarily for the character. Warp vortex, and it will take right. you to the track start line. Finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Good luck, and drive fast. And as we are, as we are Coco or Engine, we can seriously do that. Now, one thing that, that I'm gonna uh, uh, that I'm gonna screw up with a little bit while we're going through here is I am I am playing this using a, uh, a Nintendo Wii U controller and the analog on my Nintendo Wii U controller fucking blows for this <laughs> game. I needed I should have been using the D-pad right from the get-go, but yeah. Uh, this this is what I had taken a brief peek at these raws. I immediately got. Uh, nostalgia from seeing the 
the power up loadout on the top on the top center. Yeah. Now I am actually very experienced in this game. I ha um, uh, this will be a 100% run of CTR, so. There, there's a lot of fluff going into these parts, but it's just a 100% run of the campaign. I did not bother to go through at 100% all of the, uh, all of the uh, non-campaign stuff, simply because you guys don't want to sit here for an additional, let's see, it's 16 <laughs> times 4, uh, 54? 60, 64. Yeah, 64, tra 64 tracks. Just for me to, un just for me to unlock all of the, uh, bat all of the uh, battlegrounds. For... That I can't actually show off because I don't have... So for those of us... Well, I do, but I don't have anyone... So now, for those of us who um, maybe are new to the gimmicks of Crash Team Racing, um, pay attention to the Wumper Fruit counter and also the... Uh, also the... Bri I don't know what to call it. The, the bar at the bottom right corner of the screen. Those two are very important. The Wumper, the Wumper Fruit affects the power of the weapons that you get. When you have full Wumper Fruit, your weapons are upgraded. The... the and you have higher XL. And you have higher speed. XL on top speed. Now the meter on the bottom right hand corner, that is your that is your boost. You have to you in order to It's actually your power slide stability meter, but yeah. So your power slide stability meter charges when you're going around a corner and you're um, accelerating, I think. And power you're power sliding. sliding. Power now sliding. when your meter fills up all the way, you could do a brief burst of acceleration. And by hitting the other, by power, hitting the slide other power slide button, that's crucial to getting the maximum speed during a race. That was a conspicuous jump cut. <laughs> Actually, that was not a jump cut. I just closed the animation. The more Still a jump cut. <laughs> the faster your cart will go. If you collect and hold 10 Wampa Fruit, you'll be juiced up, and your power up will become more potent. Don't you hate it when the MG tutorials tell you what the commentators already told you? That's our fault. I actually forgot that Aku Aku explains that. <laughs> Aku Aku does explain a majority, a majority of the game mechanics pretty nicely. Yeah, and a very nice, pleasant speaking voice, too. Let you know that, yeah, I know the world's at stake, but it's okay. <laughs> now, for the most part, I should actually be talking about the tracks while we're on them, but we'll be seeing them plenty of times throughout the playthrough anyway, so... Bruce Tubes is um, an interesting course, but it's honestly even more simple than Crash Cove was. Whereas Crash Cove is certainly is certainly the uh, first the first race that you're ever going to race on, it's actually a bit more complicated than uh, than uh, Bruce Tubes is. However, Bruce Tubes simplicity actually makes it the second hardest course here. I would go so far as to say that the hard, uh, the hardest course in this tier is actually my favorite course in the, in the bunch. Mm. Despite the fact that I flat out can, I cannot do one of the most uh, one of the most major skips in the first course in, in that course. I don't think we'll be actually getting to that course up uh, uh, during this. You don't though. you don't really have to so you say. don't really have to be good at the shortcuts in the in the early stages anyway. Um, the bot I for the campaign. That's certainly true. However, for um, for the uh, for the arcade modes, especially on the uh, especially on the hard difficulty, you do need to know uh, uh, at, least, at the very least where the shortcuts are and potentially how to take them. Yeah. I mean, you don't need to know where all the skips are because my God, the skips are just the skips in this game are just fucking horrendous. Uh, if you want to watch someone uh, speed run. The time trials in order to figure out how to beat nitrous oxide's time, which is the bonus thing that I'll never actually get into, so I might as well get into it here. They are just fucking disgusting. <laughs> um, the, uh, the one for the one for my favorite course in this tier, uh, I will discuss um, when we get there. But my God. So you have to you have uh, to really think outside the box to get these shortcuts. Not outside the box, but you have to know what the fuck the map is telling you. And I do show off most of most of the victory screen simply because I wanted to show off what each of the defeat animations for each racer should all look like. <laughs> I think we end up missing out on Dingo Dials at the end of, by the end of the game, though. Oh yeah, you're right. It does. There there is no animation between getting the trophy. When you get a TNT crate on your head, start hopping immediately. If this works sometimes. And hop enough times. 
the TNT crate will fall off your head before it explodes. Again, this this particular uh, thing works sometimes. It doesn't work all the time because if you're on a course that has any amount of hills on it, you're pretty much just going to end up exploding. Right, and if you get hit by any other hazards, it's going to delay you getting the TNT off and then you get hit a second time. Um, actually, if you've got a TNT on you and you get hit by a hazard, the TNT goes Oh, so off. they happen simultaneously. Yeah. Uh, I did go dial. I like Mystery Caves. Um, it's not honestly one of the best courses in the game. In fact, I'd actually say it's uh, more, in line, uh, more in line with like the bottom half of courses. But Mystery Caves has got a lot of interesting design elements that are taken straight from... Uh, I, I don't think that uh, anything in here is really lifted from any of the Crash games, but uh, the backgrounds feel like they're ripped out of, uh, out of Crash. Crash 2, actually. Yeah, these these tech these textures are all found in um, the 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 forest levels, like um, Turtle Woods and the pits on at the very beginning of Crash Two. You you could you could recognize like like for example the um, the Z carvings in the stone dead giveaway. Huh. I don't recognize those from Crash Two honestly. I really don't, and I've not played all, and I've not played all that much of Crash. Well, I, actually, I want to say I've not played all that much of. It. I think I played a total of two levels of Crash One. Yeah, the, it's safe. It's safe to assume. Uh, are they? I don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The turtles are technically there. They just have additional spikes on them in Crash Two. Yeah, yeah. There, there. Well, actually, there are also turtles in. There are also turtles in Crash One that have no spikes at all. You could just. Oh wait, but no. Except those. No. We got hit by him. Except that we, uh, we just... And this is what happens when you start when you start fucking up. Uh, I don't want to say that the that the AI is very rubber bandy, but it is somewhat. Now what does rubber bandy mean? Rubber banding AI, specifically when it comes to uh, when it comes to racers, is is an attempt to make the uh, uh, racing video games specifically much more tense by having the AI outperform you when they are behind you, but underperform you when they are ahead. When you are Hence ahead. rubber banding. When they, they are stretch. Ahead. Yeah. Okay. Ver it makes it so that it makes it so that uh, are, uh, that uh, if you're doing if you're doing well enough in a race, you can't you can't honestly be all that far behind. It is. Uh, we're at, and if you're doing significantly well in the race, the the AI will you know step up their game to make it act, uh, an actual challenge. Thing is, this uh, this kind of uh, this kind of AI training, does, uh, this kind of AI programming, doesn't really work in kart racers that well because of the uh, uh, because of the um, uh, the old, the presence and abundance of power ups. Uh, you feel it a lot in uh, in CTR, but honestly, it happens a lot in Mario Kart Double Dash as well, which I think is still the best kart racer uh, of all time. Mm, I still think that rubber banding is necessary for balancing issues. At least, at least so that it's it's. The, it's not necessarily for balancing, it's necessary for the game to feel like it's actually playing against you as opposed to you, you know, just steamrolling right through it. That too, yeah. But one thing that I really don't care for about racers is the sensation of the winners keep winning and the losers keep losing. From jumping, the longer you're in the air, Although the that is how the turbo work. will get But I don't like it. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the R1 button. Yep, air time. You got that, Coco? Okay, now drive. You must have a boss key to open this door. You can race a boss after beating all four tracks in an area. Beat oh, that's boss, right. There are only ever four tracks in an area. Your prize. Eh, except for, except for uh, uh, Oxide. And spell. in the next part, we're going to get the last trophy in the first area. Yep, with my favorite race in this sector.